So here's a little presentation about the Panwar time go here and Panner for Pyramix version 8. So, got a question, and that is what is the most common problem in every piece of recorded media in existence? It's an overwhelming statement, but the answer is very easily the time arrival difference between a single source and multiple microphones. Phase issues. Phase issues can cause all sorts of problems reduction in volume, lack of clarity. Mixing depth of the stage. All of this goes to equal a loss of quality in the mix that you're creating. So the reality is using more than one microphone for any recording can actually be your worst enemy. But of course nowadays with multi-track recording, we need to find a solution for this. So we use isolation, we use separation, approximation, um, but all of these are only partially effective um, and can only sometimes be used. So here's the basic problem. We have a single source and two microphones split apart from one another. And the time difference between the arrival of the first microphone and the second microphone involves uh, a phase offset in a, in a final stereo mix. So current solution for this is to put that initial one through a delay and then through the panner and then finally push them out to a stereo mix and that would create the offset between the two. So the problem now is here. Most direct microphones are followed up in the rear with a stereo room mic. Now the problem with having a stereo room mic is you've got two different arrival times, one to the left mic and one to the right mic, uh, and with difference to the, to the direct mic. There's no way to add two different delays to a single source. So now we're presenting something new. The Panwar Time Coherent Panner for Pyramix version 8. So we've got the basic pan control available in degrees, so quite nice that in fact we can actually measure at the recording, we'd even be so, so, so precise as to really look at exactly where every instrument is placed. We also then have distance entry, so then all of a sudden we can push the microphone out and away from the uh, stereo pair. Um, we then can choose the microphone pattern, um, so whether it's cardioid, omni, whatever it might be. And also then choose the main mic separation, so typically 30 centimeter RTF or coincident. Um, and then can even be creatively, creatively cheated with. We can actually push them up to a meter away from one another. So then the angle between the microphones, whether they're straight on or they're 45 degree angle or, or pointing outwards at 90, whatever it might be. So it gets better from there as well because we can also deal with stereo direct microphones. And at this point, we can even put in a local stereo cluster. So when mono isn't sufficient, it automatically calculates all four delays and relative gains. The idea here is you can just put a protractor over your entire mix and very easily come to something that represents much more coherence.